Hi, it's Linda from Linda Z's and my camera person, Hello, Debbie. Hello, we're back. We're going to show you the mommy and me now how to finish. We did this. Oh. If you notice what I have on today, this is oh, a shirt that back is up. done on the wonderful Triumph Serger. Ooh. We love the baby lock. We think it's, it's a cute one pattern. one of the best ones that they're out there. Do you remember the name of this pattern, Linda Z, or you don't remember? Um... It's the Liberty. It's, it's the, same. the same, but it's I a different have, color. And I've had some Ooh, people different that sleeves. Store Let me see the detail on that sleeve. Yeah. Very I mean, nice. I do some of them, some uh -huh. of the people, because it's so easy to do. And then you mm -hmm. can just add a little it's collar. So bright and, and cheerful. You know, fold it over, put it on. On this rainy it. day. But I want to show you what we're doing. And then I'm going to turn it over to Mary, because she's going to show you how to thread the automatic needles. I've already got it threaded and ready to go. But this is a pair of pajamas that I think I've been telling you that we're going to do. We're actually going to have a full class on this when our video studio is up. Then I've got about six pairs already. <laughs> I love these pajamas. They're great. And you can see, maybe you can see on the inside the way I've already done this. Here, this see. is a four thread overlock. And it's just a real, real nice. See how stretchy this fabric is? And see how it, it pulls with it? You never have to worry about it coming apart, it just pulls and so moves with you. So that's the seam of the leg of the pajamas. Right, right, that's the leg. Mm -hmm. And I haven't done the the um, pants top or the, the bottom yet, but that I will be doing. Now I wanna show them just a quick little seam. And if you see on here, this is the new, like I said, the new Triumph. And if you notice here, see where it says N? I'm actually gonna bring it, see where it comes down there. I'm gonna bring it up here a little bit because this is such stretchy fabric. This is your differential. And I wanna be able to bring this fabric here. And quickly I did that. And I wanna show see. you, look Oops. at how nice. No pucker, just, Very you know, nice. and then I can pull it Mm -hmm. and we'll never have any trouble with it. Very so nice. I hope that you will um, take a real strong look at this. I had the ovation before this came out. Now I've got mm -hmm. this one, which I'm so thankful I have uh -huh. it on. Um, we have a big special on it right now where it's coming with a um, tea cabinet. Ooh. So unfortunately, I didn't get that when I got mine, but mm -hmm. it is available right now, and it's at a wonderful sale price. So hopefully you will see this soon. Mary, take it away. Okay, Mary, take Thanks. it away. Thank you. Bye. Hi, my name is Mary. I'm the store manager over at Linda Z's, and I'm also the serger educator. And today I'm going to bring you the Baby Lock Triumph. So I'm sitting here in front of the Baby Lock Triumph, and some of the wonderful features on this machine is, of course, the automatic air threading of both my upper looper, my lower looper, and my chain and cover looper. Also, in addition, I have air threading now for my needles, and I'll demonstrate all of this in a few moments. We have six LED lighting on the machine, so you have bright lights. We have five inches from the needles to the bed of the machine so that we have a lot of sewing space, and I'll show you what I use that for in a few minutes also. We have variable speed control because this machine can sew up to 1,500 stitches per minute. We don't have any tension discs, which is great because you don't have to tweak your tensions. The machine tweaks it for you. We have so many new features on this machine. It's so hard to tell you. We have a knee lift lever for the presser foot control. We have our presser foot control. It's been moved to the side. I'm gonna turn the machine again and it will explain the cabinet too. I have my presser foot lifter on the side, so I no longer have to grope the back of the machine, although you might catch me every now and then doing that because I go from machine to machine to machine. Bring it in, line it up. You can kind of see when the air grabs it, it grabs it and brings it back. Now we're going to do overlock needle two. Bring it up, over down, around, in, up and over the take-up lever. I like to go like that. Make sure you have a nice sharp point. Set up the machine again. Bring it in. Press the button. Grabbed it. And there it is. And I have my needles threaded. I like to take everything to the back and under. 
I have no tensions to set up. I have nothing else I have to do. I'm all set up as far as where I want it to be. See, I went to, and even though I have this machine at home, because it is my favorite serger, I still sometimes forget about the very nice feature here. No tension adjustment needed at all. It's a perfect four thread overlock. Like I said earlier, this machine can do up to 87 different stitch combinations. What's nice with the Triumph also is when you're doing the cover hem, which is the, if you look at your t-shirt, at the bottom of your t-shirt, you have that double line of stitching. We call that the cover hem uh, or the t-shirt hem finishing. If you look at that, most sergers will, you have to start and stop on fabric. On the Triumph, you can run off the fabric when you do it, which is a plus for when you're doing sewing. Now the Triumph right now is coming with this beautiful cabinet. Do you believe that, Madeline? That's amazing, it's, it's so pretty. It's a beautiful cabinet, and if we open this up, we have storage. Oh look, this is the flat sewing table that we would change out to do the cover hem. This is called the wave stitch. This is where the upper looper and the lower looper intertwine. So my lower looper is actually on top where the upper looper should be. And if I have two different threads in that, I can get a two, two different colored stitch for a decorative thread look. This is the chain stitch that you make by taking out one of the needles when you're doing a cover hem. And this whole bonnet is a, was made on a serger, believe it or not. You gather, you use a rolled hem to put your lace together. And why I like this serger is I've got room in here with the table, by the way, to put my different threads, and if I want to put my tools, you can put all your tools over here also. Isn't that nice? Very roomy. And then we shut this. This is called lace work, and it's actually serger crochet lace work. A lot of your moms and grandmas or yourself would have done this with a serger, with a crochet hook. It would have taken me weeks to do this. I can do this in an hour on the serger. So pretty. And this is one of the other reasons why I like this machine so much is because I don't have any tension up here. This is actually three different threads, 30 weight threads put through the upper looper at the same time. And then on the lower looper, I have two Orifil 12 weight threads put through at the same time. I didn't have to tweak my tensions at all. And I made my own variegated thread. This entire little clip basket that I hold all my wonder clips in, by the way, was made in Serger Club as was the lace work. So this is the beautiful Baby Lock Triumph. We have special pricing on it. Right now it is coming with the serger table. It's a wonderful table. And if I had to tell you my three favorite features on this machine, it would be the space, because when I do the serger lace, I also, quote, I also do my cover hem to the side. I don't necessarily use the cover hem like Linda does for all her pajama pants. I use the cover hem as a decorative quilting tool, so I need that space. So it's the space, it's the lighting, it's not having any tensions whatsoever, and it's those nice air threading. And I could go on and on about the features, but give me a call at the store, 847-394-4590. I would love to talk to you about the Baby Lock Triumph on another video and we did the topper which was really fabulous the water soluble you see what i'm doing i don't know if you can get it but i'm just taking it like this and see where it was in the corner just pulling it off i know it sounds a little 
you know, rough to do, but usually I have my stylist and I'll pull that out here. But Oh, you know what I found out? We've been calling um, the stiletto a stylist the whole time, and it's oh, a stiletto. stiletto. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, I have, <laughs> guys, we're, I have the stiletto. We're locked in our houses. We're trying to remember things, the right. and everything. Okay. So now that's out of there. And what I'm going to do now, on this particular one, you're going to be using this spelt pad. I like this. It's not the real big one that we had for the quilts, but you could use this in place of mm -hmm. it, too. But what I'm doing now, I'm going to take, and because I do still have that heat, and stay fusible on the back. So I'm gonna take my iron and I'm gonna just press around the outside because that'll make it a little warm and then I can just easily rip it off. You see how it'll come off, which is really cool. And you don't have any of this sticky on there. So we'll do that all the way around on the towel on the back side too. Mm -hmm. And I, I rip this off all the way up to the design, which is pretty cool. It's kind of fun when it you're- is. It's a great way to, when you're frustrated and you want to do something. <laughs> Go ahead I was and gonna start say that, ripping. But you said it instead. <laughs> okay. okay, cool. So now, Let's see if she makes the basket that. this time. And then, she made it. I know. Good so job. now I'm going to take this spritzer. I think you've all seen me do this before. There's some spritzing in the corner, and I'm just going to spritz it like this. You got to go over the whole thing. That's just water in there, right? Right, just water. And then I take the towel, just press it like Oops. that. Your spritzer's okay. going to fall over. Oh, no, yeah. You're good. Maybe again in little places where it's going to go. And then all I'm going to do is put it. Now, which side down am I going to use this? Do you guys remember? Can they answer you? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did I hear it? Yes. <laughs> upside down. Upside down. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take my iron and press it real, real good. And turn some of those threads. Yeah. Now, before I do that, though, I've got another one here. Oh, yes. So let one. me show you again. Remember in the corners, it was the little slick. I try to get as much off as I can when I'm first doing this. See in the corners, I put way too much there. You just need mm -hmm. a little bit. See how I'm pulling it out? Pulling it away. Remember, this was the built-in design with the fonts that are built into this to the embroidery machine. The font icon, we used on which the font is on sale items. right now. Boy, call <laughs> that store, get a hold of them. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do the same thing now. I'm going to take my little spritzer bottle, and you see how I've got the the letters water on mm -hmm. here. Yes, pretty well, big. I put, did that mm -hmm. on my scan and cut, which yeah, is kind you of did. cool. Mom loves her scan and cut, you guys. I do. So now I'm going to take it lot. again on my towel. And I'll just spritz it all over the place. It's really kind of cool to do it. Now I could just uh -oh. throw this into the um, washing machine, which is what I'm really going to do. Pat it down again, and it's gone. All gone. See? And then Bye -bye. now I'm going to take the same. Now see how it's still stuck here? Yeah. All I have to do is take it over to the the iron and just give a nice little press around the outside. And while it's warm, what I can do is I just pull it. See how it comes off right away? Because yep. it's warm. It's great. So now it's going to come right off, and then I, can, again, pull it off, give it release off. Release those frustrations. Throw the off. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll do the same thing. We'll go ahead and press it. These pressing pads, if you are fabulous, them, are really, really great. Now I'll do the same thing. Again, what size? On the back. On the back, right. Going to press it down, press it. You have some like more tearing this. to do, I see. Right. <laughs> <laughs> trying to do it quick. We're trying to do it quick.